Good afternoon everyone, this is Wirefer bringing to you my second YouTube video instructionable. This is a dry ice cannon. It's a very simple build, only taking a total of six parts. First part you're going to need, three inch gauge, two feet PVC pipe. You can pick it up at Home Depot, they're a standardized side, you can buy it pre-cut, you don't have to do any cutting or gluing yourself. Next thing you're going to need, end cap. Same section, pretty cheap. Slam it on the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. Next thing you're going to need is crushed dry ice. Now, crushed dry ice can be obtained as long as you're over the age of 18 from any grocery store. They usually sell at about five pound blocks. I'll give you a number of shots. They also usually have partial blocks that you can get for like one, two pound. It's about 99 cents a, for a uh, pound. So one pound of dry ice is a lot of force. So bear that in mind. Next thing you're going to need is ordinary tap water. This should be the easiest thing to get. Lastly, you'll need some sort of projectile. I have here an old uh, paw. I figure it's nice and soft, nice and safe. All you do, cap the PVC pipe. Take an empty soda bottle, open it up. Take yourself a funnel. Pour in your dry ice. Make sure you get it. Good chunk of that in there. A bit more. Once. All right. Continue. Once you've added the dry ice, all you do, add yourself some water. Now this is going to react instantly, as you can see. Once you do that, cap it quickly. Plate, drop it into the tube, and then immediately after. Add in your projectile, make sure it's nice and tight, and then aim. Give it a little shake. This is going to burst at an undisclosed time. I have no idea when. I don't know how strong the ball is. <laughs> when it does, it will launch it. This is the simplest version. You can do a more advanced version where you put Probably an actual pound in here. <laughs> Might want to aim oh, it. Oh, I hear crackling. It's aimed. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Also, there are methods of calculating how much dry ice you actually need. I haven't done these. In the future, I should probably do the calculation prior to firing <laughs> this at a human. Oh well. Don't look down the barrel, notice. Don't look down the barrel. <laughs> well, we're waiting. Come on, did I not put enough in? I'm very not confident with that white in pointing at me. <laughs> Don't worry, my hand's holding it. <laughs> That's so reassuring. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to open it, but I'm curious that I didn't put enough in. Well, stick is it, it. Is, the, is the bottle going to blow up or what? Yeah, it's supposed to happen. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I left a nice dent in the ceiling. <laughs> I am going to go ahead. Unfortunately, the experiment did not go as planned. This illustrates the importance of doing your calculations and checking safety beforehand. As you can see here, this is what happened to the bottle that was supposed to be the propellant. I, when I looked this up online originally, it said about 22 bar pressure, and that's a lot of pressure. I didn't believe it. But a tiny amount of dry ice, a tiny amount of water in this bottle. And when I looked into it, it went off. Now, if you have a look at the ceiling, there's now a very, very large dent in the drywall. And if you look around in this bowl, these are the pieces of the bottle that exploded. There was a pressure shockwave that was generated by it. This cannon is more than capable of launching a projectile a massive amount of distance. And in fact, blew the end off the cap. So in the, I will do a second attempt later on in a much more controlled environment that's much safer. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoy my little journey into experimentation and... Near death. Near death. <laughs> but uh, if you like the video, please watch me on Ryerfer, uh on FA. Uh, and feel free and like this video on YouTube. And once again, I want to say I'm very sorry to Siku who I did this at his house. And now it's a nice big stent in his drywall. <laughs> please do your calculations and be safe, folks. Have a good night.